Hi everyone, April Makes. I'll tell you what, I'm pretty excited to move on to May because May is going to move us closer to spring and summer, my favorite times of year. I have 12 garments to show you for April. They're hanging there behind me. You know the deal. I'm going to try each one on and try and keep it to one minute per garment. So we'll do this hopefully in less than 12 minutes. I am wearing a little summer dress that is Vogue 9237. And it's got that surprise gathering in the back. I made this out of a very stiff cotton broadcloth, so it doesn't have a whole lot of drape. I sewed this pretty early on when I was getting back into sewing but it's a great little pattern. So that's 9237 Vogue. Let's get on with our makes for April. I hope everyone is doing well and thank you for joining me today. I will be right back in the first outfit. Simplicity 8640. This is a great little pullover dress with an asymmetrical hemline. I chose to color block with some pastel linens. And it's got great big pockets on the front. They suggest that you sew buttons on, and I went ahead and did that. There's a lot of top stitching on this dress, and I like to top stitch, so that's good. And it's just an easy dress to wear. Like I said, there's no fastenings. Cool in linen for summer. It's got that funky little hemline there where it sort of curves up. And there's some threads. Don't you love it how you think you've gotten every single stray thread? Well, no, you haven't. So there's some that I need to cut right there. But that's a great little summer dress that I will look forward to wearing. Simplicity 8640. Berta 6313. I chose to make the long sleeve top. I guess it's a baby doll style top. I did not gather the sleeves. I left them belled. I wore this top when I went into town to meet a lovely viewer who was vacationing in the States from Australia. Hi, Gemma. We had such a nice time and Candace was able to go with us. So every time I put this shirt on, I am going to think of that happy time. I will say the armholes on this pattern are teeny tiny. I sewed a straight 14 for this shirt and I gotta tell you, those armholes are about that big. So it takes a little bit of getting used to. I can wear the shirt, it's not a deal breaker, but you may wanna take a look at that if you decide to sew this. I sewed this out of a rayon crepe from Fabric Mart, and as I said, I didn't gather the sleeves. I left them belled. That is Berta6313. I'll confess that I didn't follow the directions exactly. Uh, they do have you line this yoke, and some of their instructions were a little odd to me, so I sort of went off on my own and did what I figured to do. That's Berta. It's a little bit challenging, but overall, I do like the top. Berta, I've said it like six times now, 6313. This is Quick Sew 3559. It's a little bit hard to find. Someone asked me where they could get it. I thought, oh, I'll just hop on eBay and find it for them. It wasn't there and it wasn't on Etsy. I can see making a bunch of these easy, breezy, and fun. This is a pullover dress out of a, 
This is a cotton jersey that I got from Etsy. What was the store? I believe it was high-end fabrics. And I absolutely loved the colors in this and the fact that it's pretty substantial. So you might wanna check them out, high-end fabrics. Um, what can I say? This is just a great little dress. It sews up very well. Do we expect anything less from Quick Sew? No, we don't. I love this little dress and I will definitely be making more of Quick Sew 3559. My only advice about getting a hold of the pattern is check eBay often, check Etsy often, and you might even try the classifieds over at Pattern Review. I've gotten good patterns there before. There's tricks. He just insists on being a part of this. And my kitty Zig is too shy. He's not probably ever going to show up for a video, but I might, I might make him. All right, I'll be right back. Here we have pants from McCall's, 6930. They zip up the back, they have a waistband, and they have pockets. And the top is Vogue 8914. Four. Do you remember when I met up with Nikki in the library? And I said, I have this weird pattern and I've never made it. Well, I made the shirt out of this pattern. So, oh yes, these are my home deck fabric pants. Here they are. I was told not to do them, but of course I had to. So the pants are cropped. You probably might have gathered about me that I adore cropped pants. I do. I should have kept it to one chocolate Easter bunny after Easter because these babies are a bit tight. And there's the zip in the back. They have darts. They're a quick and easy sew. I like sewing these. And the top, it has that seam going straight across there. Same thing in the back. And then you can top stitch that. I made that out of a tropical weight wool, which is not itchy, feels great. And of course the pants are home deck like a cotton broadcloth. Nice and sturdy, you don't need to line them. The top went together very quickly. I think it'll be a good versatile top. So there you go. An outfit from McCall's and Vogue. Simplicity, so simple. 1046. Not simple. Fussy. I know that's backwards. Not simple. Fussy. Pattern going in the trash. I had this really pretty fabric from Mood. It is a cotton spandex blend, 95% cotton, 5% spandex. A lovely fabric, a terrible pattern. First of all, simple. They want you to start by cutting out three pieces of tissue paper and transferring all the markings to your tissue paper and then sewing that tissue paper to your garment. What? No, I'm not doing that. Then they have this belt or sash around there. When I pinned that on, it was so much smaller than the sides of the dress. It like came out to here. And I thought, I am not gonna sew that on and bunch my dress way in only to have it all stretched out when I put it on. So I left that off. There is a little bit of gathering in the back, as you can see from that line drawing. The neckline was scandalously low. I put in a gusset and I didn't do a very good job because I was just disgusted with this project. However, you know, I love the fabric and it'll be a fine maxi dress for the summer but I heartily do not recommend Simplicity 1046. Finito, I'm done with this one. 
There it is. It's heavily modified. Simplicity, so simple. 8683. This is also the same as New Look 6511. And hey, Want to make any sewing project a royal pain? Well, sew it out of silky, slinky, striped charmeuse. Oh, that is what this dress is made out of. It is a really cute fabric. It's got a bunch of different colors in it, some goldish orange and brown and a little bit of purple. This has a very high neck on it, and I actually think that I could stand to take it in just a tad. It came out a little too short, so I sewed a wide lace trim along the bottom. There that is. And it closes with a button and loop. I like this dress. Like I say, it's a little bit roomy. I think that I just might take the side seams in, just like that, all the way down. I didn't quite understand these cap sleeves, so I just thought I'd mention it. Nobody mentioned them on the reviews over at Pattern Review, but um, I didn't quite understand what they were asking me to do. You apply bias binding on top of the sleeve inside. So take your time with that and see how you like that. This fabric came from Fashion Fabrics Club and I had been waiting for something to do with it. And so I decided to make this dress, Simplicity. So simple, 8683. Hang on. We have cropped split pants from New Look, 6515. And we have a vintage Simplicity wrap top out of a knit. That is 9165. Pretend you don't see that little safety pin there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sew a, I'm gonna have to sew a snap in there. So here are the pants. They are made out of, do we call that a ditzy print? Yes, we do. That is a ditzy print cotton from Vogue Fabrics store. I'll say this, the pants have a lot of ease built into them. I cut a size 10 and that's down a size from what I normally cut. The top is pretty cute, but I used super thin, thin, you know how these knits are now. This is like a rayon spandex. And it was so thin that I decided to double up the front. So I just cut two fronts on each side, sewed them together and treated them as one. Now it may have brought the shoulders forward a little bit by doing that. However, you know I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna put a little snap in there. Pants are super comfy. There's those splits in the front. Those are a lot of fun. That is new look and simplicity. I'm already over time. What is this world coming to? Oh my gosh, I'll be right back. Come on back to 1966 with me. This is simplicity 6792. It is a moo moo. You will see on the back that they want you to put in a 22 inch zipper, but I'm here to tell you, you don't need to. This is pure comfort, okay? <laughs> Need I say more? This is a Moo Moo. It is extremely comfortable to wear. I think that a Moo Moo can be stylish. Um, I thought I had shortened it a little more than it came out. So I guess I'm okay with that length. Um, might take it up an inch. This is also a rayon crepe. Beautiful, it's got a stripe going across. I briefly thought about cutting it lengthwise, but I think that horizontal is actually best in the end. It's got these cute little bell sleeves on it and a yoke. 
you line the yoke. It's a more straightforward approach than that Berta that I showed you earlier with the yoke. Oh my gosh, this is over 15 minutes. I have two more things to show you, so I'll step on it. Once again, that was Simplicity 6792. I love those 1960s. Here we have Quick Sew 3854. Two pair of shorts, they're both really cute. I chose the one with the pleats, the high-waisted shorts, and here they are. This was kind of a test garment. I'll definitely wear it, but something went wrong when I was sewing these, and the back came out much taller than the front. It had to be a cutting error because nobody mentioned that on pattern review. So I chopped off the back to make them even, and when I saw how long the rise was on these, I decided to just affix elastic to them and turn them over because that would shorten the rise and then I wouldn't have to fiddle with the zipper, which was fine with me. I don't ever wear shirts tucked in, but you might recall that I made this top from 1964. And it's in the exact same fabric. And I was thinking that maybe I could wear it with these shorts and tuck it in, but wear like a wide black belt. And it might look like a jumpsuit, like a romper. So tell me if you want, want to see that in another video. I won't do that right now, but these shorts are a lot of fun. I will definitely wear them, and I didn't make them exactly as they're drafted because I did not put the zipper in the back. This is a heavy bottom weight um, cotton with a tiny bit of spandex in it. All right, I'm heading on to the last garment. Thank you for staying with me. Thank you for your patience. Hold on. This is New Look 6581. It is a true wrap dress and it is made for knits. Here's my version. I chose to make mine out of an ITY that I purchased from Fabric Mart in this cool navy blue and buff beige, kind of like a tribal print. This dress went together very quickly and there are no bumps in the road with this one. That is New Look 6581. I'm sorry that I went over. Those are my 12 garments for April. Uh, like I said at the beginning, I'm really looking forward to May. I would like to put April behind me. Not just because of sewing, but for various and other reasons. I think it's time to move on and I'm all too happy to do that. So, hope everyone is doing well. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know. And um, all of these patterns will be listed in the description box. Take care everyone. Thanks for being here. Bye.